Hi, welcome to another video from Dr. Locke. We're going to look at the Abus 8345 and we're going to look at how to actually change the shackle. Originally when these came out um, I bought the tool. This is the tool and I probably shouldn't have wasted my money. 30-40 bucks solid brass and then eventually my sales rep gives me this tool. This tool works too and I'm going to show you how to do it even if you don't have the tool. So here's my padlock here. Titanium. Nice padlock. So to actually remove the shackle, first thing we need to do is yep, that's the right one, is open up the shackle and we get a Phillips. There's a Phillips blade right there. Down the hole there you can see a little posy and a ball bearing. So you just gotta back that or loosen that screw till the cylinder falls out. Now the cylinder will come out. You can see how it's held in on the back. Now, down there, you can see um, oh, like a bit of a cutout type shape. Now, this tool here, that's the easiest one to use. You basically just put that in, rotate it, rotate it till it's spring loaded, and then you should be able to remove the shackle. Rotate a few times, no. Turn it the other way, no. Turn it a little bit harder, there we go. And the shackle actually comes out. Got to be careful the ball bearing doesn't fall out. That's one way of doing it. Then we get the new shackle. We put it in and push it all the way home. Remove our tool. So we've changed the shackle that way. This tool here works pretty much the same way. You put that down there. As uh, you might be able to see. See both sides. And you just give it a twist once again. shackle comes out, backwards forwards, and the shackle comes out. Okay, so that's uh, that's using the two tools. What happens if you don't have the tool? Now, not all is lost. You see those two triangles in there? One up the top and one down the bottom? What you need to do is get something along this line. In that sweet spot, almost, and the shackle should now come out. Okay, so let's put our ball bearing back. We don't want him going around, and the same is for when you put it in reverse. I'll use a tool that's easier now. Actually, no, I'll use a screwdriver just to show you it can be done. So if you don't have the tool. It's not the end of the earth, but using a screwdriver is not, not the easiest. It's a little bit cumbersome, but it does work. And you can uh, can make it work. There's a bit of a plate on there. It'd be nice if we could take that off. But if, of course, if you take that off, you run the risk of the spring going everywhere. So you need to actually turn it and turn it that little bit more. As you push down, get get down there, ball bearing. Okay, there we go. We got it back on. So, three different methods. The freebie, the paid version, and the free version. The one you always have when you can't find these two. Anyway, that's our video. Thanks for watching. That was changing the shackle on 8345 padlock. We do sell different size shackles. This one's just your standard one. This one's um, maybe like an 80mm. They go all the way up to 150mm and they're all on our website. Thanks for watching.